Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting limited edition games Wednesday video where we take a look at a little small run of a physically released game typically for the Nintendo Switch. And today we have number 23 from Super Rare Games. This comes from uh, overseas for me, I'm in America, and uh, I'm pretty loving it. I've been with them, I've got every one of their releases thus far. And as usual, we have the cards with the booster packs to see if we can get a full set. And of course we'll do a let's play as we get into the game itself. And of course, as always, you can uh, check out Super Rare Games by using the link in the description below. They put out about one game a month right now, and um, it's always a good time. They get you stuff super fast and super good quality, and they do a lot of awesome games. So we're gonna dig in here, and we're gonna see what we think about this one. And this might be a game that I'm not gonna be a super fan of. We're gonna find out, uh, but you know, that's how it goes. So we have the Super Rare Games card, which is always nice just to get that logo, and there is all their social medias as well if you wanna check any of that out. And I've not really had a problem with them, but I hear their customer support is excellent. And of course, I bought the two booster packs, as I always do, to make these videos a little more interesting. We do have a collector's edition of one of these games coming up, by the way. I think the next one that I open. Honestly, too, this was uh, from, like, December. So I got a little out of order as I'm trying to get these things opened in the way they were shipped out. Also interesting that this isn't a bubble mailer. I haven't had that before, at least not to my recollection on top of the plastic, because we also get the sticker in there, and I'm gonna have to break some hearts because I do tear that sticker open, because I wanna get to the game here, you know? And of course, they always come with a pack of cards. Of course, that's not, you're not gonna get a full set with just the one pack of cards, because there's always five cards, and I think you only get three per pack. It's been a minute since I remembered, I guess. <laughs> I remember. All right, so there is the Super Rare Games, and as usual, the art is now tailored to the game itself, which is quite nice. I always enjoy getting the sticker. We're gonna set this pack of cards to the different sides. We can make sure we know which ones came with the game and which ones didn't. Unfortunately, because it is over in the UK, we do get that ugly Peggy symbol, but it is what it is. And of course, you'll get a better look at this once we take the plastic off. But I just figure for the purists out there, you wanna see what it looks like in the cell cellophane right quick. And I do believe there is going to be some kind of manual and or art book in there. There usually is something nice on the inside of these games. Let me get that out of the way and give you a better look again now that you can see all of this. And of course, as I said, it is Super Rare Games release number 23. As of filming this, they have 25 available on their store. Not all 25 games. Most of them are out of print. But I'm saying they're up to game 25. <laughs> All right, let's pop it open and see what we think. And yes, we do have a booklet. Nice. If I can get it out gently. There we go. Some pretty cool artwork on the inside. I'm not a big steampunk guy, but I do like what I'm seeing here. Theoretically, you could use that as a reversible cover if you'd like. There is the cartridge. It's a beautiful cartridge. And now let's take a look through this before we get to the Let's Play, and then we'll come back and see what we did with the cards. So. This does look like it's gonna be a more of a concept art book, or at least that's how it's starting, but that's fine. I like stuff like that too. It's always nice to see the progression of things, where they started from and where they end up. So kind of a neat little feature. However, it is also nice to kind of have controls laid out in a manual, but that's just me. I'm old school like that. I'm an old fogey, an old, old man. <laughs> I mean, get out on my porch and just yell at children and tell them, boy, you get off my lawn. <laughs> All right. Some of you, depending on how old you are, 40 might be that old, but I tell you, when you get there, it doesn't feel like it. Cool. All right, well there's the art book. We're gonna come on back after the Let's Play and open up the cards and see if we can get a complete set. We've been having great luck lately. But for now, hey Eric, let's play the game. Okay, so let's check this game out. Steam World Quest, and first things first, is it complete on cart? Did I hit the wrong button? I did, I've been playing PlayStation. Hey, it's complete on cart. Woohoo! Next question, do I like the game? That we can't answer as quickly though. <laughs> Image and form games. Thunderful Publishing. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, let's get some game volume. It's awfully quiet. What kind of options we got? Game audio graphics controls language. Yeah, sure. Oh, I, this may be one of those games that I'm not a fan of. We're going to find out. 
Uh, we'll start one there. We will start as a squire so we can get further in the gameplay. I usually go for, you know, whatever it recommends. Time to get ready for bed, son. Oh, I don't get to do the... Oh, the, oh I don't get to do the voices, first, Dad. Please. Pop, pop, I want to do um, the voices. Do you want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No. No, not another pirate Not story. really. I want to hear about dragons. Dragons. Knights in shining armor. Knights. 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 Dragons, yeah. you say? Dragons. Well, dragons. then we have to go way back to the age of heroes. heroes. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to entertain myself. When our world was still young <laughs> and innocent. <laughs> <laughs> the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil. Cool design, and bro. placed it in the chest of a behemoth. I just want to know when the Saiyans show up. A true hero was called upon. Oh, that's right. I'm not playing Kakarot. Hand, the corrupted heart of the Why am I not playing Kakarot? Out <laughs> and buried where it could do no Every harm. game should be Kakarot right now until Resident Over Evil comes years, out. <laughs> his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Ooh, obscurity. Heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. Yeah, they spread. They just sit down and spread. Our Sibilance. Our story begins with two such lights. Oh, am I supposed two to pay attention to this? I was just playing it for y'all. I don't know what's up. Forest in search of a mushroom. Little, oh, oh, we're going looking for mushrooms. Okay. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> I like mushrooms. <laughs> like, you know, all my pizza Chapter and one. stuff. The knight, the knight and, and the, the alchemist. alchemist. The knight and the alchemist. But first, a load screen. God of War so spoiled me for no load screens. Why isn't every game like God of War? Cory Barlog should do everything. No, I'm just... Obviously, I like some different stuff. Ah, oh, I like that art style, though. It's gonna be a pretty looking game. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, our heroes cut their way through the Green Fingers Grove. The smell of hazard and fungus hits them as they search for the fabled peppermint puffer. That's what she calls it. Will you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 in the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot. That fully illustrated book of yours is pun ridden cringe fest. Welcome to my life. Hey, don't diss the book. And by the way, what are we eating? We should have taken Galeo up on that breakfast offer before we left. <sighs> he didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat the slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining our mushroom hunt. Huh? And this mushroom hunt we're having? Where this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed? You can't do real alchemy from the comfort of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that, but the rest of them shriveled up over their research in musty, sun-forsaken labs. There was one professor, though, who really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out in the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding the medicinal peppermint puffer. Medicinal. Not only is it hypersens anti-hypersensitive, hepatoprotective, uh, hepato and nef nephroprotective, oh, God. it can also... Hmm. You're setting me in the mood for stew. Oh, whom? You're setting me in the mood for stew. We're not making stew. Look, let's just get going. I know you get restless, so why don't you take the lead for a while? Okie dokie. Hey, look, I'm playing the game. Oh, but they're not both on the screen at the same time? Whoops, that did some. Oh, it's one of these where there's a whole big book of stuff. Yay. Hey, there's a button that does things. Oh, that's how you switch characters. Okay. No jump. No jump. Up and down. Is it a hack slash maybe a little bit? I'll hack and slash you. Look, there's some mushrooms. Oh, tutorial interacting. All right. Many objects in the world, such as mushroom patch ahead, can be interacted with. Move near the mushrooms and use the controls shown to... <laughs> oh, 
Uh, hey, that was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up before the rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood amar amanitas. We're after a peppermint puffer, remember? Dang! Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. Double dang! I'm gonna start morphing them into what I want them to sound like. Oh, I broke some things. I listened to Limp Biscuit break some fucking shit tonight. Ooh, bad guys. Hopefully. Things for me to destroy. Yes. Oh, is it gonna be turn based? More of those pompous posers from the village. Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hang around, hanger arounders, but you're practically rattling around in that bulky armor. Hey, did you just call me scrawny? Whoa, 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 easy now. I didn't say. Oh, the armor fits perfectly! Here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. All right, tutorial punch card battles. Yeah. Oh, ba oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is definitely a shelf piece. Um, this is not my kind of game at all. If you love card games, great. More power to you. Just not my thing. So I'm not going to be playing too much of this. Uh, you can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen. When you're happy with the cards you've selected, press the finish turn button. Okay. I mean, card games in like real life, maybe. Now, what do I do? I have to like pick three. Sure. 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 And then I finish turn, okay. And magic strike. Oh, that didn't do a whole hell of a lot. Magic strike. Book bash, belch. Oh, her book bash is better. Ow, ow. Oh, God, you're going to kill us. And then I can be done with the game. And then I can go play some Kakara. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Oh, Your heroes can play three kinds of cards. Strike, upgrade, and skill. Ugh. This is way... Ugh. Strike cards are just what they sound like. Basic, uncomplicated attacks that deal damage to your enemies. Upgrade cards and power your heroes temporarily in some way. As your hero use strike or upgrade cards, they build up steam, pressure, or SP that can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Okay. Let's flame wave those motherfuckers. We're gonna book bash this asshole. I don't know. Sure. Let's see what Bravado does, I guess. Finish turn. Oh, that was pretty effective. Ah, oh, not enough to get him, though. And now we Bravado. I, I don't know what that did. Did I just up my, my points or something? Didn't really see what happened there. All right, each strike or upgrade card generates one SP. Your heroes have shared pool of SP. Skill cards are very versatile and powerful, but if you don't have enough SP, you can't play them at all. Manage your pool of SP wisely. Okay. And finish turn. Actually, this isn't so bad, but it, you know, it's just not really my jam. I don't love it. That guy's done. Oh, that guy's done too! Yay! We did a thing with a thing. Victory for Victory for Vegeta! Ah, uh, we're only level one. We got some gold? There'd be gold in them there, Hills. Mary's messaging me too. Easy as mushroom pie! Mmm, pie. Ah, uh, we've clearly stepped into a Culligan turf here. Coglin, I guess. Let's, oh, Coglin, like goblin, but cogs, cause steam. Uh, let's, let's just try and get out of here in one piece, okay? You think there are more of them? Awesome! It's like hurting a small tornado. Yeah, I need to get more sassy with her. Yeah. Uh, uh, do the thing. Treasure chest? Our heroes chanced upon a relic, a testament to the glorious battles of the past, and some long-forgotten treasure. 
Hmm, more likely Coglin loot stolen from an unwary travelers. The Hero's Handbook declares, after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. Bonk. Found repair by all times two. Yay, three more pages of reading. <sighs> Recovery items can be used to heal your heroes or cure status conditions. They are a good way of dealing with challenges that you can't solve with cards alone. But supplies are limited. You can find recovery items in chests by defeating enemies or by buying them from merchants. Use recovery items outside of combat by going to the items menu and then and then selecting the recovery items. Wait, menu and the selecting recovery items. What? All right. Your heroes are automatically revived and cured of negative status conditions at the end of each battle. So some items can't be used this way. Use recovery items in battle by going to the battle menu, menu, and selecting recovery items. Recovery items used this way count as playing a card from the turn. So think carefully about the right time to use them. I don't care. <laughs> oh, more stuff. Break it all. Man, these, every map is so huge. Oh shoot, more of those pint-sized troublemakers. All right, we'll do this battle and then I'm done, because I don't, this is all right. Let's ambush them. The hero's handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. There are two whole pages with diagrams on how to startle a coglin. And? We sneak up behind them, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless from, hey, who is it? Who's, who's there? Star Wars Dealer Fan John, thank you for the subscribe. For the scribe. <laughs> Which direction? Come waving a sword at anyone, you will startle them. Oh, wait, that's her. You'll, anyone, you'll startle them. Whoa, so you say the method works on anybody? This book is great! <sighs> Beware, foes will engage you if they see you. Gain an upper hand against them by pressing the indicated button when they are close enough to attempt a preemptive strike. This will cause your foes to begin the battle already wounded. All right, let me just remember where all my buttons are real quick, just to make sure. All right, that's why. That's A. That's why. That's A. Uh oh. Do do do. You don't want to. Don't want to see me. Nope. Did that count? That seemed like it count counted. Ugh. You can redraw cards in your hand up to two times each turn. Redrawing a card means that the selected card will be discarded and replaced by a new card from your deck. Discarded cards will eventually make their way back to your hand, so don't hesitate to use redraw often to get rid of unplayable cards. And remember, if you neither play nor redraw anything, your hand will not change. I don't have enough for a fire pillar. Or now I can fire pillar? I don't know. Weird. I wanted to start with a fire pillar, but okay. Bonk. Bonk. Whoosh. That one's done. Ow. All right. Um. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Do it. Take them down. Pick them away, toys. Oh. Her book bash is not nearly as effective as it once was. Oh, I also noticed the cards tell me how many HP, how many hit points it'll take off of them, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, flame wave, flame wave. And then we'll just bravado, bravado. Because I don't even know if those cards will play, honestly. Whoosh. Nothing, best Coglin is a dead Coglin. Yeah, we almost leveled up. I feel like we should go a little bit further to see if we can level up. <laughs> but then I gotta read more. Uh, uh, no, that's where we came from. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Hey, there's a sword in my foot. In my foot? Oh, I can go two paths. Let's go this way. Look, Corda, Corda, Cop, Copernicia, Copernicia. Oh well, this looks like a thing we did. Even the Coglins raised statues over Gim, Gilgamesh, 
Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The majestic pose, the pride of a great deed, oozing from every cut of the chisel. Ugh, those statues are literally everywhere. Well, of course they are! Gilgamesh saved our kingdom from certain doom! He defeated a huge snarling bohemia, tore out its evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero coloring handbook. Humph, at least Coglins know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely, they seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. These artfully majestic homages to the ancient hero serve as a good place to sit down for a while and get some rest. Approach the statue to save your progress. Interact with it to restore your hero's health. However, be aware that this will also respawn all nearby enemies. Well, okay. I'm just mighty fine with that. All right. Well, now you know how to save. You know how to do all those things. Honestly, if you like this style of game, this is pretty fun. Because I don't even like this style of game. But honestly, it was kind of getting cool. It was kind of drawing me in, but I don't love it enough to continue playing. Um, I was supposed to do this a lot earlier, but I had to I had to go out and do something I didn't expect to because my watch band broke earlier and I need my watch on to track my stats. But uh, yeah, so there you go. There's a Steam World Quest. Um, I think I can get behind this. I might actually play some more of this at some point, but uh, this might just be more of a collector's piece for me. But we'll see, because again, my first taste of a kind of a card game like this, or at least that I can remember, and I enjoyed it, so neat. All right, well, let's get back to that unboxing. Let's see if we get a full set of those super duper, super rare collector cards. Back to you, handsome Eric. All right, well, hopefully that was a really fun game. Hopefully I had fun with it. Hopefully I said some funny things that made you laugh or had you have a good time. Of course, you can get this as an eShop game anytime you want, but now let's get into the card pack. So those are the extra ones I bought. Here is the one that came with the set. So let's see what we start with initially here. This has become one of the fun things for me to do. Of course, they all have this on the back and they all have this on the front, preserving the surprise of what cards you get in the pack. So we are starting off with, actually, I'm gonna move these out of my way. All right, we have card number two, Copernia, Copernicia, Copernica, something like that. <laughs> and we got us Card number three, Galeo, Galio. So that's pretty cool. And we have us card number four. So two, three, and four is what we got, colorful cast. Very, very nice, I'm not gonna show off all of those. All right, which pack do we do? Because we've gotten pretty lucky here lately, occasionally not even having to open an extra pack. We're gonna start with this, we're gonna see if we can pull out card number one and five, and then we'll have a Completely sealed pack for future trading, should we like to do that at some point in our lifetime. And as usual, you got that card. But here we go, here comes the fun, y'all. Here comes the gamble. Do we do it? That looks different. We got card number one, Arma Lily. That's pretty awesome. I'm liking the look of that. And ah, it is a duplicate. All right, if this next one's full art, then it should be card number five. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, baby. We got it, card number five, we don't even need to open the other pack. We have a full collection, that's really cool. I like that design a lot. All right, well very nice. Well hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy the Super Game, Super Rare Games videos. But let me know, what's your favorite release from Super Rare Games? What do you think of this game? Is there other, I think there's other Steam World games, right? Have you played them? Let me know about those as well. But what do you think about this game? I'd love to hear your thoughts, I read all the comments and I have fun reading them. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button, give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm gonna get on out of here so I can go play and open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.